Hello everyone, this is Ahmed and in our anatomy tutorial today we are going to talk about the muscles of the spine of the camel. The muscles of the spine include all muscles which are situated along the cervical, thoracic and lumbar vertebral column. They are highlighted in green in this picture here. They are located between the spinous processes and the transverse processes of the vertebra. Now we are going to start off with the first muscle. This is the iliocostal muscle, which has two parts, the lumbar and the thoracic part. The lumbar part originates from the iliac crest, as you can see here highlighted in red and inserts on the transverse process of the lumbar vertebrae 2 to 7. Now let's look at this very interesting muscle uh, highlighted in this picture, the longissimus muscle. The longissimus muscle stretches from the sacrum to the uh, skull in the camel and is divided into different divisions as you can see here. Let's start with the first one which is the, the uh, longissimus lumborum and longissimus thoracis. Uh, there is no clear division between them. This muscle originates from the iliac crest as you can see highlighted in the picture. The longissimus cervicus arises from the mammillary and transverse process of the first three thoracic vertebrae and inserts on the transverse process of C3 to C7. The longissimus atlantis takes origin from the articular process of the cervical vertebrae number 2 to 7 and inserts on the caudoventral surface of the wing of the atlas. The longissimus capitis emerges medially and dorsally to the longissimus atlantis and inserts on the mastoid process of the temporal bone. Here I would like to mention that the lumbar part of the longissimus muscle and iliocostal muscles are fused together in the camel. This highlighted muscle is actually two muscles, the spinal and semispinal muscles found in two different regions, the thoracic and the cervical region. In the thoracic region, the spinal muscle arises from the spinous of the first four lumbar vertebrae, while the semispinal muscle arises from the transverse and mammillary process of T6 to T12. In the cervical region, the semispinal muscle arises from the articular process of T1 and T2 and inserts on the uh, spinous process of the cervical vertebrae 3 to 5. This highlighted uh, muscle is the semispinalis capitis muscle, which is normally divided into beventer and complexus muscles, but they are fused in the camel. The intertransverse muscles highlighted in green in this picture represent actually the short muscles of the spine. They are located between the transverse and articular processes of the cervical vertebrae. Here I highlighted the knuckle ligament which we are going to discuss later in this tutorial. Okay, well done. So let's move to the animal cadaver and try to find these muscles. And let's start with the first one, the iliocostal muscle, originate from the iliac crest and has two parts, the lumbar. And from here we have the thoracic. The thoracic part inserts on the caudal border of the first eight ribs, as we said before. Now let's uh, move and look at the next muscle, which is the longissimus muscle. The longissimus muscle uh, arises also from the iliac crest, and uh, it could be divided into different uh, portions. The first one is this one here, the lumbar part of the longissimus muscle or longissimus lumborum and this one is the thoracic part or longissimus thoracis. And I told you before, there is no uh, clear division between these two muscles. Now let's look at the knuckle ligament. The knuckle ligament is divided into two parts, the funicular and lamellar parts. The funicular parts mentioned here it becomes caudally continuous with the supraspinous ligament. The knuckle ligament forms caudally a blade-like sagittal portion, this one here. 
And here from the funicular part, we can see the lamellar part of the knuckle ligament inserts on the spinous process of the cervical vertebra. Here in this view, we can see the thoracic part of the iliocostal muscle. This one is the thoracic part of the longissimus muscle, named as the longissimus thoracis. This one here is the longissimus cervicis, inserts, as we said before, into the transverse process of the cervical vertebra. This muscle is the longissimus atlantis, inserts on the wings of the atlas. And this one here is the longissimus capitis. Here we can see the thoracic and the cervical portion of the spinal muscle. And this muscle is the semispinalis capitis muscle. Here we can see the short muscles of the spine. Uh, the intertransverse muscles uh, extends between the transverse processes uh, and the articular processes of the cervical vertebra. Some of these muscles extends between the transverse and the articular process of the cervical vertebra.